34-year-old Musi Maimane has made history. He is now the first black leader of South Africa's main opposition party, the Democratic Alliance. But he knows critics of the party, with its blue-colored emblems, think it represents the interests of a white minority. So in his acceptance speech, he tells supporters that because he's now in charge, change is coming. Because if you don't see that I'm black, then you don't see me at all. This doesn't mean that our skin color must define us forever. The system of racial classification devised by Hendrik Verwood was evil and deplorable. And ultimately we cannot stay trapped in that way of thinking. We must triumph over the evil of apartheid by building a new bridge into a new future. Outgoing leader Helen Zilla, described as a tough, tenacious, fun and vibrant leader, was praised for attracting more black voters. But can my money take the party to the next level? South Africa's two most popular opposition parties have young black leaders. Julius Malema heads the Economic Freedom Fighters Party and Musi Maimane is now in charge of the Democratic Alliance. Many people are asking the question, is the ruling African National Congress worried? A dominant feeling that you do find within the electorate is that the ANC has not necessarily done enough. It has not delivered enough. So, you know, there is a shift in terms of either I'm staying away from the polls or I'm going to vote for an alternative party. And it is there that the DA should be able to capitalize. Local government elections are due in 2016, which could be the first real test for the now black-led Democratic Alliance. To President Zuma. If you are watching this program, we are still coming for you. My man is promising to create jobs, tackle corruption, and put the interests of the black majority first. So South Africans are watching him and waiting to see if his appointment is what the Democratic Alliance needs to entice more much sought-after black voters. Harumutasa Al Jazeera, Port Elizabeth.